We want to understand how bacteria makes this decision of whether to grow or not to grow because we think that a better understanding of bacterial growth will allow us to control bacterial infections and to optimize bacterial growth in industry. I'm interested in understanding how bacteria grow and divide and uh, we are studying bacterial growth and cell division at the SciLife Lab in Stockholm. Even though bacteria are very small organisms, they have a huge impact on our world. That's why it's important to understand their decision-making process better, making it possible to handle them differently. Bacteria are individual cells that, similar to higher organisms, can do many different things. They can grow and divide and uh, they can uh, sense information in the environment and process this information and accordingly adjust their behavior. In contrast to higher organisms, um, bacteria are just one cell and all processes and signaling pathways are within this one cell. Some bacteria have a doubling time of 20 minutes under optimal conditions. This allows a single bacterium to grow into over 1 billion bacteria within only 10 hours. Better knowledge of this division can help optimize bacterial growth when wanted and also to stop the division cycle when it's not wanted. We try to understand the very molecular mechanisms of how bacteria adjust their growth rate and cell division mode in response to different environmental conditions. For example, when conditions are optimal, there are lots of nutrients around, temperatures are ideal, and there are no toxic compounds. Bacteria strive to grow very rapidly, but under stressful conditions, for example, under nutrient depletion, to high or to low temperatures or in the presence of antibiotic drugs, bacteria can slow down their growth and stay in an arrested or dormant state until conditions improve. Antibiotics are an important part of the team's research since the medicine may need to be replaced in the future. One huge problem of antibiotics is that um, bacteria can develop resistance, which means that bacteria can accumulate certain mutations that make uh, antibiotics inefficient. And this leads to the situation in which we constantly have to search for new antibiotics and especially finding new targets uh, inside the cell that can be targeted by different types of antibiotics. The team prepares samples of bacterium in their lab they later study the sample in their microscopy room. There they can look at how proteins affect the cell division. They can also see how the bacteria respond to different environmental circumstances. So on this uh, slide we have the bacteria and we have just um, put the slide under the microscope and the microscope takes images every five minutes and all these images we stack to a movie. Then we can analyze the results, uh, as we see here. So in this case, we have um, used a fluorescent reporter that visualizes cellular damages that resulted from antibiotic treatment. And we are now following how the cells can recover following this uh, antibiotic treatment. So we hope that the knowledge that we generate by our research will be used by others to, first of all, develop more efficient and specifically working antibiotics, but also to optimize um, bacteria growth in industrial settings. Bacteria are often used in industry to produce products and it's very important that the growth rate of bacteria is optimized, uh, leading to an optimal yield of these products. On the other hand, bacteria can also cause huge problems in industry if they contaminate um, for example, the manufacture of certain drugs or other products that should be produced in a very clean environment. And the industry has to come up with strategies to prevent any bacterial contamination and keep these processes as clean as possible.